What is going on guys? Welcome. I hope all is well. Ugh, get this hair out of my face. There we go. Whew. I made it. I'm out here camping at Long Lake. I decided to come out lakeside since there's so much cloud coverage. I'd come out. I figured I'd come out here and uh, just enjoy being out by the lake without the sun beating down on me. Something I am going to do is I am going to chuck it down that way. So there are two boat launches here. I don't know if they have uh, outhouses at both of them and info at both of them, but I know there is at one of them. So I figured, you know what, let me enjoy being out here. And since I don't have to worry about the sun beating down on me, I'm going to enjoy my uh, stroll lakeside, check out those boat launches, and then I'll come back and chill at camp. All right, so I made it to the first boat la landing, launch, whatever you want to call it. There is a, a signage, roads right there. There are no outhouses here. There's a little roundabout right here. The boat landing launch is over there, straight that way. And then it looks like they got a little fire ring right over here. Nice little area. Um, if you bring a boat and an RV, I will say if you come over here, you will need high clearance, at least recommended. All right, just different kind of signage, what you can, can't do, information you need. All right, um, let us, I guess let's head uh, to the next boat landing. So check it out guys, I'm here at the first boat landing and I'm about to head off to the second one and there's a bunch of ducks in the water. Okay, so I am a little confused. I have been looking at my map just to see where I'm at. And it says that I had just passed the other boat landing, but I didn't see anything. So I'm just gonna keep walking. And I imagine my map is just the GPS is off since I have poor signal. That's what I'm going with. And we'll see if I run into it. made it to the second boat landing I guess my map was off all right let's wander up this boat landing launch and see what we got up here all right it looks like there is an outhouse uh, here it's right over there firing right there so yeah it's a nice open spot so for parking if you bring a boat or some watercraft looks like they had another uh, firing right over here another information sign and outhouses bam wow it smells really nice in here 
That was number one. Number two. Oh, you know what? I think those circle things are air fresheners. Let me see, are there circle things in here? Because it smells really nice in there. Yeah, there are. Wow, those are two really nice outhouses. Yep, that's it. So the road is right over there, not that far. Just a couple hundred feet. On the information sign, they have an Eat Fish Smart sign. It has, you may eat the following at any time. Limited consumption. And do not eat the following fish. So apparently in this lake, there is walleye. And it's recommended adults eat, only eat 2.5 ounces per week and a child two ounces per month. That is so little. This water is probably not um, clean. Who knows what's in it? If anyone is, is going to ask or wondering why, like, hey, how come you're not going to be fishing since there's a fish in there? I have no fishing gear and probably even more important because I do know how to fish. Um, I, I have no clue how to gut a fish. And that sign doesn't really give me full confidence of eating whatever's in this lake. All right. So that is the view from uh, here. Oh, and as well, that is uh, the end of the lake right there. There is a fire ring uh, right at the end of this boat landing. I gotta say, man, it is so freaking peaceful. I'm loving this. So now I'm just gonna head back to camp just relax and chill until it's time to spark up the fire. I'm walking back to camp and I'm, I'm honestly, I'm enjoying the walk. And I look off into the distance over there and you can see my freaking camp. Let me go ahead and get my uh, phone so I can zoom in. All right, so check it out guys. My camp is like right here. So keep focusing as I zoom in, you'll be able to see it. Do you see it? Right there, there. It won't take me that long to get there. I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my walk and honestly, this peace and quiet. I shouldn't say peace and quiet. Um, the no man-made sounds. All right, I'll see you at camp.
I have been doing nothing but relaxing and lounging around ever since I got back from my walk. It's been nothing but nice. The clouds did break up a little bit, so the sun did come out. It's about 80 degrees right now. It's still beautiful. Sunset's about to be in about an hour. But actually right now, I am getting ready to make my dinner. So I'm making hamburgers on the, on the grill, on the fire. And then I'm gonna be making some french fries right here on the stove top, because it's just easier to control. And so I've been getting that ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my potatoes. After that, I'll probably spark up the fire and then start just bouncing around doing all my stuff.
So that is what the fire looks like right now. The second batch of fries are almost ready. I did want to say though, I did um, screw up on one thing. So I have two eggs right here. I am and still am going to make the two eggs now. I'm going to fry them up and use them for my hamburgers. I, I was going to make, so I'm making eight hamburger patties. I'm only, I only have two buns though. I may only have one burger. I may save one for tomorrow morning, depending on how hungry I still am. But I was planning on them in the morning making my eggs and potatoes, but I can't do that because those are the only two eggs I have. So I may end up saving one of the burgers on purpose for tomorrow so I can have that for breakfast. But I do have other stuff I can eat. We'll see what happens. All right, these fries are ready to come out. So I'm gonna have, take the fries out, fry the eggs, and then I'll probably enjoy sunset and then make the burgers. All right, guys, everything is pretty much cleaned up and put away. My, here's my food. And that is what the fire looks like. I added more wood to it, so it is going like crazy now. I will say when sunset came, I saw a little bit of color. That was about it, and then it just went away and now it's dark. 
So I'm gonna enjoy my food, my evening, stargaze, and I will see you guys at some point in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, kind of a late start with the sun is right there. Maybe right there, there we go, cool. Uh, a bit of a late morning. I was planning on getting up early and watching the sunrise and starting a fire and kind of in, enjoying that. But I just had the urge to sleep in and enjoy that. So that's what I did. Now, I got the fire going, not because I need it for warmth but just for enjoyment. And I only had the one burger last night, so here is my breakfast for this morning. I made my tea, so I'm gonna enjoy my food and enjoy the rest of the day. The clouds rolled in, which was kind of nice. Um, but now it's sprinkling. It's actually kind of coming down a little more than I would like. And my rain cover isn't on, so... I am quickly going to put this sucker over so the inside doesn't get wet. I am all packed up. I got everything in there. That little bit of light rain, only sprinkle, only lasted about five minutes. And then I gave it about maybe like another 10 minutes so everything could mostly dry. And then I packed everything up. Everything's inside the tent now. 
fire is out and I am out of here. So just like normal guys, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care guys.